Okay, so here we are with another tutorial on oscilloscope music. Um, if you follow my other two tutorials, you and, and just play with it for a while, you can probably do uh, some stuff like this. Here's one, just some swirls. See, this is just. Here's another one that's kind of a waves. There's another one I did, it's kind of a plant thing. So all of these are basically just combinations of various waves at different frequencies uh, being piped through uh, citrus, panned, as we showed you last time. Sometimes though, you just want to draw something directly. Um, and I want to show you a technique to use citrus to do that. I'm um, using the wave shaper. Um, so this is a the basic oscilloscope music s preset that I've set up. It just draws a circle. It's got, again, two sine waves panned, and then there's a slight phase offset. If you, if you use citrus, and instead of passing through sine waves, you pass through a saw wave. Let me switch these to saw waves and remove the phase just for a minute. Look up here. Simple saw wave, nothing surprising there. Um, you can actually invert the polarity. Oops, there. So now you have a saw wave that every cycle uh, both of the the left and right channel are starting at the bottom, going right at the top. So it's a nice sort of sequence of points, if you will. And um, if you take those two signals and you pass them through the wave shapers, and you pass one through filter one's wave shaper, oscill oscillator two, filter two's wave shaper. Again, we're gonna. And this, actually this should be left, should be right. And this left and right, just how it was, full output, and then remove this. Uh, and again, in the filter settings now, turn off the actual filter. All we're gonna use is this wave shaper. So this ought to be the same. Nothing affecting the signal. But now what you can do is you can take this saw wave and map it to really whatever shape you'd like. Um, I'm going to do a quick example of a triangle just to show you how this works. Um, and then you can do more complex examples from there. So again, operator one it's going through filter one and out, and that's going to be our left signal. Operator two is going through filter two and out, and that's our right side signal. So if we think of a simple triangle, um, the, the simplest example of that would be a equilateral triangle. Um, and if you think about mapping it on an XY plot, it would start down here, bottom left, it would go up to center, top, and it would end bottom right. And then for the purposes of this example, we actually have to have it go again back to the bottom left. So bottom left, top, center, bottom right, back to the left. There's, there's really there's four points, there's three lines that make up a triangle. <clears throat> and since we now have sort of separate control over the left and right signal, we can build in a simple wave shaper map that will put those, basically those points in those locations. So uh, first thing to do is, is turn on the wave shaper and reset it. And the last thing important is turn this to plus minus mode. So I'm gonna go back to reset. And what that does is allows you to go above and below zero. And then again, for the purpose of this, that's uh, for the left signal is to the left and the right of center. And for this right signal, it's above and below 
zero. So we'll do the same thing here. Turn on, switch to plus minus mode, reset. Okay, so now we're ready to begin. Uh, you can leave snap turned on for this exercise. Uh, so again, if we're thinking about the left, left to right, um, bottom left was our first location. So we'll go full left and up down is going to be bottom. The second point, it is centered in terms of right to left. So on this filter one, we're going to make that point, first point. And filter two, it's actually all the way at the very top. And then the third point, one, two, three, is bottom right. So again, far right. This is the location. And bottom, again, this is the right signal. And the last point is going to be from bottom right back to bottom left. So bottom right, bottom left. Fourth, one, two, three, fourth point is bottom. Sorry. All left, bottom. Okay. And then for the sort of remainder, and, and what, what I'm trying to do is, the way the wave shaper works is, when the signal comes in, this is the highest level of the signal, this is the lowest level of the signal, it decides where you're telling it how high to map that. So we basically created, let's just use the left one, this left wave should now be sort of this shape. Let's go ahead and play that. I'm just, I'm only playing the left side right now. There we go. And then it actually steps back down because these points aren't equal. And then the same thing with the right. It's this shape. Not really cooperating for a clean signal here. But you can see that shape. All right. So now, last thing to do is make sure that it ends where it starts so you don't have this step function. So I'm actually going to take and just put this all the way down for the last bit of that signal. Okay, so how do we do? There we go. First try. So what's happening is Citrus is creating these triangle waves, excuse me, saw waves. But then instead of passing them straight out, we're passing them through this wave shaper and we're reshaping them to a triangle shape. And really what we're reshaping them to is four points with lines in between. Okay, so there's a real simple way to use Citrus and the Wave Shaper to make custom shapes. You can make these as, as complex as you're, <laughs> as you're able to. This is a 16 by 16 grid. You can get some pretty neat shapes that way. Um, but this is a, a simple approach to creating custom wave shapes using Citrus. Thanks for watching.